Tell me one good reason why I should try continuing to fight it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So recently, Jay's Two Cents and Steve from Hardware Unbox talked about how it's become so hard lately to build or even upgrade a gaming PC. And the two main reasons, DDR4 memory and graphics card prices are way out of hand. So to keep it short, DDR4 prices from 2016 up to today saw a massive 100 plus percent increase in price. So let's say you paid $40 or about 2,000 pesos for a single 8 gig stick of DDR4 back in 2016. Fast forward to today, you are now paying as much as $100 or about 5,000 pesos for that single 8 gig stick of DDR4. And that's mainly due to demand being higher than supply, the whole Note 7 exploding thing. Of course, smartphone these days utilizing DDR4, the release of Ryzen, and can also be blamed on mining and cryptocurrency. Second reason is graphics card prices are also bullshit, but a lot worse on the AMD side. And video card prices, I wouldn't say okay, but I would say more tolerable is the right term. And this is mainly due to mining and cryptocurrency. If you guys want to know more details on what I just talked about, I'll just leave the links in the description as I don't want to make this video too long. As frustrating the situation is, what I want to talk about or let the PC gaming community know is that we should look up and hope that DDR4 and graphics card prices settle down sometime this year, hopefully. And I want you guys to know that there's a lot to look forward to this 2018, specifically Nvidia Volta coming early 2018. No specific date yet. The upcoming Ryzen APUs coming this February and DDR4 prices are actually expected to settle down in price soon. Now if you watch my favorite tech from CES 2018, I mentioned that the new Ryzen APUs, the 2400G and 2200G with Vega GPUs, according to AMD, should give you these numbers. So add in the fact that they're overclockable should give you a nice performance bump from these numbers. And the fact that you're getting a more than capable CPU and decent GPU for $169 and $99 respectively is an insane value. But of course, those are for the more budget-conscious gamers, those who mainly play MOBAs and esports titles. Then you can build a capable game PC for not more than $400 with great future expandability once the new Ryzen APUs come out. But what about for that guy who spent I don't know how long but a really long time to save up for that new graphics card? That guy who's been dying to play the latest AAA titles or play at 100 FPS only to find out that the card costs way more than it did when he started saving up. Now this is something that I thought of not really sure and it's not really a solution to the whole graphics card problem but more of a remedy. Buy a used 960, 970, R9380 or even a 1050 Ti if you really want to play AAA titles right now. Maybe you just need an upgrade from your old graphics card or even if you don't have one right now. Now the four cards I mentioned are more than capable in 1080p gaming for pretty much any game out right now. You may not be able to play at the max settings in some games but of course if your priority is more FPS then these cards are also capable in putting out more than 60 FPS in any game if you lower the graphics settings to medium or low and considering that you have a capable CPU to process all those frames. So this will give you time to save up more, hope that graphics card prices settle down, maybe even buy an Nvidia Volta card soon, and at the same time, you'll be able to have an enjoyable gaming experience for the time being. And I guess a solution to this, if you really want to buy something like a 1070, 1080 Ti, or even a complete gaming PC, then spend some time in parts hunting from different stores, online shops such as Newegg. So I'm not telling you to build a gaming PC right now, but of course, if you're part of the small percentage of the population wherein money's not a problem for you, then go ahead and buy a gaming PC but for the majority of the population who doesn't have bottomless bank accounts then that's my advice to you. And lastly of course according to this article from kitguru.net we should expect a nice drop in memory prices sometime this 2018 due to fall in shares with Samsung and SK Hynix. Now hopefully this prediction comes true with a significant price drop in memory prices so link to this article will be in the description also. And uh, yeah I think that's gonna do it so if you guys have any questions just leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully this video video was helpful so leave a like dislike if you feel like you have to maybe share this video to another pc gamer and if this is your first time to the channel then consider subscribing as always bookmark and use my lazada affiliate link when buying at lazada and donate to my patreon to support the channel also follow me on twitter for updates and announcements so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one